After the February 2011 revolution, Libya descended into violence and chaos. Between 2012 and 2016, Benghazi faced an epidemic of assassinations as extremist militias established strongholds and terrorized the city and its people. Over 2,000 people died during this period, while men, women, and children continue to be killed or maimed by unclear landmines, booby traps, and shells to this day. It took three years to remove domestic and international armed groups, but the battle to free the city inevitably took a heavy toll on the people of Benghazi. By 2016, however, against all odds, the people of the city began to enjoy a level of security and normality they once believed would never return. Fast forward to 2019, the city is enjoying a renaissance as its people began to slowly rebuild their cities, which had been neglected for decades. Long before the revolution even began, Benghazi was not only neglected by the previous government, today this region is neglected by the international community and the story of its struggle and recovery is rarely the subject of mainstream media discussion, let alone aid. Few talk about the million Libyans from all over the country who are compelled to seek refuge abroad, namely in Jordan, Egypt, Tunisia and Turkey. For those who could not migrate to other countries, approximately half a million Libyans became internally displaced. For all Libyans abroad displaced or still in their cities and towns, the consequences of conflict have been devastating. In any conflict zone, women and girls are the most vulnerable to war and extremism. At the same time, women and girls are the foundation of society and are paramount to its healing. My name is Aya Berwela. I am the founder of Code on the Road, and I am from Benghazi, Libya. Newly established and based in Athens and Amman, our Code on the Road international team and partners are ready to bring our country-specific Arabic mobile business and software training program to empower the women of Libya to fulfill their potential and become active, competitive, and independent members of the global and local economy. We brought our program to Jordan and Greece, and today we want the chance to expand it to Libya. Conflict interrupts the education of women, men, and children all over the world every single day, compounding the injustice and trauma they already suffer. With our entrepreneurship program that is delivered straight to the mobile phones of women and girls, we give our students the freedom to learn in whatever context they find themselves in and transcend the limitations that war, conflict, and even societal norms can impose. When you cast your vote for women, you cast your vote for everyone.